everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Ultimate Edition Series number 13 Hulk Hogan figure. If you would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Now the other figure that is featured in Series 13 is Mr. T, which will be reviewed tomorrow. But I honestly feel like Ultimate Editions deserve their own review, man. There's a lot of things to get out there. You know, it's one big grand review for each figure individually. I think that's the fair way to go. With all the accessories, with all the details, I feel like that is the proper way to review these figures. So here we are, man. We have Hulk Hogan from Series 13 looking pretty good. This could be the best Hulk Hogan figure that Mattel has ever made. You have your front viewing window here. It looks incredible. Ultimate Edition there. Hulk Hogan up here. Mattel logo down there. On the side, we do get a beautiful image of Hogan here. Looking pretty damn good with his headband. I like that. Pretty, pretty, got a little something special going on there, young man. Down here, you get Hulk Hogan. WWE logo up here. And then on the back, you get an action shot of the figure. You got Hulk Hogan. You got Ultimate Edition. You got Hulk Hogan here. You also get some bio read and you also have a little bio read right there. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. On the other side, you do have Hulk Hogan there, and that pretty much wraps up the packaging for this Hulk Hogan, man. I'm really excited for it. I think he looks pretty damn fantastic, man, but will this be the best Hulk Hogan ever made? We're going to have to crack him open and find out ourselves, man. So with that being said, let's crack Hulk Hogan out of his packaging and find out what he's all about. So here's Hulk Hogan out of his packaging, spinning round and round as we like to do here in the reviews. And I love it, man. I think this figure looks very fantastic after diving into some of the different things. I honestly, at first glance, I don't have a lot of issues with him. We're going to get into all those things. We're going to break down all the details. We're going to dive into the accessories, take a look at the figure, look at some comparisons. And I don't want to get insane, but nah, maybe I'll just hold off on saying what I want to say. Maybe we'll save it for the money shot at the end where we pose the figure with all its accessories and all its glory. This figure looks damn good on paper. Will it hold up? as we progress through the review, man. Let's find out together as we dive into Hulk Hogan's accessories, then we'll dive into Hulk Hogan himself. All right, man, so diving into Hulk Hogan's accessories, I honestly, like, when I was trying to fold these accessories out, I felt like we were kind of short-staffed, but at the same time, I don't think so, you know? I, you know, you usually, with your Ultimate Editions, you'll get your championship, you'll get your three interchangeable heads, you'll get your cloth accessory interchangeable hands, and that's, you know, I, I, what, uh, what more can you ask for? You know, I, I think that it is a standard amount. I think it fits the bill. It checks all the boxes, but let's dive into these heads sculpts, man. Because I think that this standard likeness is very good, man. I think the eyes are painted really well. The mustache looks really good. This looks head and shoulders above the Survivor Series Elite that we got, but it's got some interesting technology going on with it as well. But you have this, like, serious, pissed off face of Hulk Hogan. I think it looks pretty much identical to him. It's kind of unbelievable how much this looks like Hulk Hogan, but you guys can see on the white headband. It's got some nice texturing to it as well. It says Hulkster, iconic headband of Hulk Hogan. This is his WrestleMania 1 gear where he tag-teamed with Mr. T, which is why these two figures kind of come together in the series but this is an interesting detail right here you can actually take the headband off and have your headbandless Hulk Hogan right here and you can stick that headband on the other on the other head sculpt so next up we have the wide-eyed head and this one just looks crazy man look at that right there coked up Hulk Hogan with the wide eyes and you can stick see what's interesting is you can like stick this headband underneath the flaps of the hair and it can be a bit tricky to do so but it can be done you gotta finagle it a little bit there but that looks crazy good, man. Freaking Pop-Tarts on him. Look at that. That, look, that looks crazy. Got a little blip right there, but that is just... Cr look at the lightness, man. That is so cool. So you can pull, pop the headband off right there, get the crazy head, and then we do have the Hulk Hogan promo smiley head sculpt, which I think just captures him perfectly. Like, this is one of the best Mattel heads I think I've ever seen. You also have some blonde nicks right there. I'm gonna have to clean that up, as you guys can see, but you can't put the headband on all three. It honestly fits the one out of the packaging the best. I find that these other head sculpts is a bit difficult but great accessories and head sculpts for this guy. Really nailed the likeness. Now, for his other accessories, we do have the first time in the line WWF World Heavyweight Championship, and look how clean this is. Now, it does say WWE up there, but I think it looks great. I like the sculpt on it. It looks really good. It captures the color really well. I like it a lot, you know? Of course, I wasn't around then, but it still looks really good. I think this is classic. Maybe we can pump more of those classic championships out, but I think this fits the figure. Looks really good. I, I can't complain about it, man. I, I like all the details how you have some of this stuff in here, and if these custom belt makers can make some of these detailed belts. Mattel should have no problem pumping out some of these. So that looks good. It feels good in the hand. Really nice championship. I'll never complain about a championship regardless of what it is. Next up, we do have our cloth shirt. This is the Hulkamania shirt. It is accurate to the one he was wearing, you know. Maybe a bit saturated in color, but it does have the tear in the front for you to do the iconic tear there. It is Velcro. It's got Hulkamania on it. I like it a lot. I, you know, any cloth accessory, again, I'll never complain. On the back, it does have the rips as well, which is a very cool detail. I mean, they just go above and beyond for Hulk 
Hulk Hogan, man. I really wish they... Well, I guess this... Technically, the last few Ultimate Editions have been crazy insane, and so this one just fits the build there. I think this and the Batista are two of my favorite figures so far this year. We also get the cross necklace, which is cool. It's got a nice gold pendant color going on. I think this accessory fits the figure well, and it can go on a slew of guys. And then for his interchangeable hands, you get interchangeable fisted hands. You gotta have your pointer fingers for Hulk Hogan, so he comes with interchangeable pointer fingers. We have our interchangeable mic holding or object holding hands. And then you gotta have, you know, the can you hear me Hulk up ricochet Kawhi Leonard hand shaking style hands. Now starting out at the top of the head sculpt with Hulk Hogan, man, again, I love the way these expressions look. I mean, you can just look down here and just see the resemblance of Hulk Hogan compared to real life. And I think this is, again, one of the best head sculpts Mattel's ever made. I think that it fits nicely on the body. Like, the, you know, it's not giving me no neck. It's not giving me giraffe neck. This is very good and clean. Going down into the body, I like the way the body looks. The torso that they use, the arms, the shoulders, the necklace, all wrapping up in one with the trunks, white wrist tape. It just all looks quality, man. This is a really good figure just straight up. You do have your pinless arms here. Going down into the trunks, you got your nice yellow bright trunks. You do have that beautiful golden tan that Hulk Hogan was always rocking, right? So, I mean, he, he's looking good there. Legs look nice. You do get pins in the legs, which doesn't bother me like it bothers a lot of people. I see a lot of people constantly ragging on the pins. I don't really bother me. It doesn't really bother me that much as far as the pins are concerned, but, you know, one day we will get rid of them completely. You do have your knee pads here. Now, on camera, you don't see as much of the two-tone, but they're definitely two-tone. They look kind of like the defining moments Hulk Hogan that we got, you know, with the championship and the Hulkamania shirt. It is, you know, two-toned here and some red, and also they're darker than they appear here. They're not as pink looking as they are on camera. You also have your bright yellow boots, and you have your white outsoles, and he does have his articulation here in the toe, which is really cool. Now, this figure stands pretty damn big, too, man. Now, for your Hulk Hogan figure comparisons, guys, here's some of our recent Hulk Hogan action figures that we got. You do have the first Ultimate Edition over here with the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You have your Elite 91 Hulk Hogan. You have the Ultimate Edition, and then you have the Survivor Series Elite, and the Ultimate Edition crushes this one over here as far as head sculpts and likeness and the way he looks. Like, you guys can see how much taller he is than him. I think this captures his, uh, you know, his height a lot better, and I really wish that these two figures had the same tan because they still, he still had this crazy tan in, in these eras, so I don't see why it couldn't carry over. You know, this is the old, uh, you know, t skin tone they used to use for him, and now they do have the old updated one that I think is much better. I think that if they do this figure again, I would love to see this figure re-release. Give us a different gear, maybe like a WrestleMania 18 Hogan or something, and give us the skin tone, man. Give us the skin tone and redo it. I think they could do a lot better with it, but I still love this Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and I, I like the new one a lot, too. I think they're both really nice, and it's just cool to see these up next to each other. And I feel like I have to compare the two from Ultimate Edition Series number 13. You do have the new Hulk Hogan up next to the Mr. T, and you guys can see how much taller than Hogan is, and this review of Mr. T is coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But this looks really awesome, man. I, I like seeing these up next to each other. I think they look fire. And this Hulk Hogan is just a beast, man. And, and so is this Mr. T. You gotta check out the review tomorrow. We'll get into the details, but it is cool to see these guys up next to each other, too. Beings as they do come together in this Ultimate Edition series. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up this Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure review, man. Had a lot of fun with it. I think this figure is damn good, man. It is easily gonna be up there for one of the top Ultimate Editions and one of the best figures of the entire year. I have a ton of fun with it. I think it's my favorite iteration that we've got of Hulk Hogan so far, I think, from Mattel. I do love the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, but I think it, did, it was missing some things here and there. I think they've just... This one really knocks this era out of the park, so if they could take these same sort of qualities that they've given to this figure and capture that likeness and carry it over to other versions of Hulk Hogan and other eras of Hulk Hogan, those figures are going to be really hard to beat, man. This is a fantastic figure. I think that the figure is just stands alone by itself. It's definitely the best version of Hulk Hogan that I've seen from Mattel, in my opinion, but you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Did you grab this figure? All those different things, man, but you can grab this over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but I am getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Hulk Hogan down below, and save 10% over at Ringside using code MDTOYS, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and thank you. You crossed the line, I've been